If you're running low on bug spray, a reminder the summer is not over. You may want to stock up. Vermont is seeing twice as many mosquitoes compared to the last 13 summers on average. An expert from the Vermont Agriculture Agency says the causes can be traced back to last month's flooding. They point out mosquitoes need water to breathe and are aquatic until they reach adulthood. Officials have collected more than 40,000 mosquitoes from over 100 different locations around the state. And while they can't count every single mosquito, they are able to estimate the scale of the number based on sample sizes from those sites. Now, if you're wondering if this is a high number or maybe a trend, an expert says it all depends on the amount of rain Vermont may get in the future. It's hard to guess on a trajectory of mosquito populations. If things dry out again next year, we may see a year or two with lower numbers. If the weather continues to behave like it has been this year, um, then we are liable to see increased mosquito populations. Mosquitoes collected in Alberg and Vergennes are the first sites to test positive for West Nile this year. That was late July. Experts say they typically find some mosquitoes that test positive for the virus each year and add those only make up a small portion of the population. The last confirmed human case of West Nile was 2021.